many Australians aren't satisfied with their careers. That's why I'm on a mission to take brave volunteers on a life-changing journey. Where each must step out of their comfort zone and road test their dream job. In this episode, school teacher Fabiano follows his creative heart. Yeah, very emotional. Very emotional. To a surprising conclusion. Wow, Fab, I wasn't expecting that. That is quite a revelation. Well done, Ella. You answered those questions really, really well. 29-year-old teacher Fabiano Negro loves making a difference in young people's lives. It's a great job, it really is. You get to take the kids from where they know not much at all or, or nothing and take them to that, to that level where they think they're experts. Yes. Oh, high five. OK, yeah. excellent. But Fabiano's influence extends much further than the classroom. So, Mario, I found two possible purchases on Gumtree. In fact, He's on a mission to redesign the whole school. Fabiano's changed quite a few things at the school. Couches, chairs, um, bookshelves, you know, you name it. This is the wallpaper that was in my grandmother's lounge room. At home, partner Matthew knows all about Fab's hobby. I just hate wallpaper. No! <laughs> you have to like it. His obsession with interior design takes over a lot of the stuff that we do in our everyday lives. Even the family home isn't safe. I don't think it works. I think those cushions need to go to different places. Fab has always tried to rearrange my decor in my own home. I will come downstairs sometimes and I can see if something's been changed or he's added something a little bit different. So it's come as no surprise to anyone that styling interiors is Fab's dream job. I've had this burning passion inside me to try interior design and give it a shot for a very long time. And it's something that I just, I need to do. I like it, it works. He needs to get out there and do this. It will benefit him, but it would certainly benefit me. I'm now on my way to meet Fab. Hi, Fab, I'm Sabina. He enjoys his current job as a school teacher, but wants to try his hand at interiors. So, Fab, I hear from your family and friends that sometimes you've been known to drive them a little bit mad with your love and passion for interior styling. So it's true, I definitely drive them a little mad and crazy. Every time I walk into a room or I find a bargain that I want to implement into the house, they are definitely like, Fab, it's enough. I can understand that you may feel sometimes your family and friends are not supportive, but that's not the case. We've spoken to them and they are very supportive of this dream and have a message to share with you that I'd love you to look at now. Are you ready to have a look? Yeah, definitely. So, Fab, this obsession for interior design is taking over all of our lives, and it's time you give it a go for real. If you never try, you'll never know, so off you go. Fab, you've had a flair for this since you were a little boy, and this is something you need to do for yourself, and I just want to see you shine. Every day I fall in love with you again, and, and you know, anything that's going to keep making you happy and, and making us happy and, and developing and keep growing is something I want to back you on 110%. Wow. Yeah. Tell me how you feel after seeing that. Um, it's amazing to hear from, from Mum and Matt that um, they just want me to have a go and, and make it happen. Um, yeah, very emotional. Very emotional. <laughs> I've been told that you absolutely love Scandinavian design and interiors. So we think the best place to hone your Scandi skills is with Norsu Interiors. With a quarter of a million online followers, Norsu Interiors are retail and styling superstars. Co-founder Nat and stylist Josh can't wait to put Fab through his paces. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, Sabina. Thank you so much. I can't wait to meet these guys. It's one thing to do styling for family and friends, but a completely different ballgame to work with clients. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he copes with the high pressure demands of the job. School teacher Fab's arriving for his first day with Scandi design experts, Norsu. You must be fat. Yes, I am. I'm Nat. So lovely to meet you. You too. And they're off to a flying start. One thing you're going to realise pretty quickly is it's a very fast-paced industry with not a lot of downtime. So we're going to get you started straight away with Josh. 
Wow. And you're going to go to a client's house where you're going to do some styling. Oh, wow. No pressure. <laughs> this will be Fab's first ever client. I already know he isn't very open to embracing other people's ideas. Sometimes it's really hard because what we want is quite different to what our client wants. So Fab's going to have to listen to the brief and he's going to have to deliver a room that meets those expectations. The pressure is on. I'm styling a room in a client's house and it's only day one. Hi, Shelley. How Hi, are Josh, you? Hi, Josh. How are you? This is Fab. Hi, Fab. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Shelley works in the industry herself, so this is an intimidating first client. So this is going to be Sophia's room, my six-year-old daughter. What I would like to see is lots of pinks, greys and white and keeping it really fun, keeping in mind she's six years old. I just want Sophia to walk in and be in absolute awe of what you guys have done. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous because it's real life, on the job, the end product is for a little girl and nobody wants to upset a little girl. I've actually got another client's house to go to, so I'm going to leave you in the space to do the room. I'm excited to see what you're going to do. All right. Cool. All right. See you later. Right. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Where do I begin? Channeling a six-year-old girl's bedroom is quite difficult. This is sink or swim for fab. How do I even start to think what's going to work for a six-year-old? But armed with his selections, I'm pleased to see Fab's getting stuck in. And with Josh, Shelley and six-year-old Sophia to impress, I hope he gets it right. Mm. No, it's too much, it doesn't work there. I'm feeling really nervous about my first job. I've never done something on this grander scale before. Hey Josh, I'm done. School teacher Fab has just finished his debut interior. I'll come down and take a look, I can't wait. A bedroom for client Shelley's six-year-old daughter. And he's about to get his first ever critique from Josh, stylist at renowned Scandinavian-inspired Norsu Interiors. I'll give you a little bit of feedback, you yeah. know, fresh set of eyes into the room, just in terms of space. She's a little girl. She wants to run around, she wants to dance around. So the space in the room, I like to call the dance floor space. So maybe just taking one or two away and just having enough room for her to walk around, but yet it's still comfortable to sit down. You know, maybe folding. He's given me some constructive feedback, which is good, because I feel like I needed to have a little bit of guidance in what I've done. There's a lot of attention to detail needed, and it seems really exhausting, but I really want to give Sophia the perfect little girl's room. So should we go and grab them? I think we should, yeah. All right, let's do it. Back at Shelley's house, it's the end of a long day for Fab too, as the one person who matters the most arrives to inspect his work. You ready? Wow! What do you think, darling? It's good. <laughs> it's good? Oh, my God. What's your favourite part? I like everything. You like everything? It's super awesome to see Sophia smile ear to ear. It was just, it warmed my heart. And to know that I did that for her is just awesome. This is what the job's all about. It's about making people happy, making them happy in the space they live in. Sophia's reaction is a great reward for Fab. If you're inspired to learn something new for your career, it's never too late. Check out Seek Learning to find the right course for you and your lifestyle. It's time for school teacher Fab to make a decision about his future. Hi, this is Fab. Hi, lovely to meet you, Fab. Hi, nice to meet you too. But first, Norsu boss Nat wants his help on a glamorous studio shoot. Today, we're going to work with our friends from Carpet Court. We're going to create a beautiful living space that they can use the photos for their website. I think this piece of artwork needs to go up on the wall right above the couch. OK. It's been another successful assignment, and Fab has impressed the Carpet Court team. Might be worth shifting that right-hand picture just a little to the right, but then other than that, I'm really happy. My head's in two spaces at the moment. I'm really enjoying interior styling, but I'm also missing teaching quite a lot. As beautiful as the product looks, it sounds like Fab is having doubts. 
So I'm back to find out exactly how he is feeling about life as an interior stylist. It's been a totally amazing experience. I have learnt so much from Nat and Josh. It's just been an eye-opener. Has anything changed for you in your thinking about this big dream that you've had since you were a little boy? Yeah, Sabrina, something really has changed. So I got to deliver a little girl a brand new bedroom, so styled it from the ground up. And when we delivered it to her, she was so overcome with emotion. She was so happy. Wow. It touched really deep. It made me realise that, you know, I got into teaching for a reason. I got into teaching to inspire kids and to help kids. So it's made me realise that that's where I probably should be, teaching. Wow, Fab, I wasn't expecting that. That is quite a revelation. So is this the end of the road for you with regards to styling? Definitely not the end of the road for me with styling. I can definitely see myself using some of these techniques that Josh and Nat have taught me in my own school to make sure that the environment my kids are working in and learning in is top notch. Well, I think that that's wonderful. I think your students are very lucky to have you. I'm sure with the skill set that Fab has, and his enthusiasm that honestly, we're gonna see some amazing spaces for his students. This is a happy ending. You're leaving with a new clarity and a new passion for teaching. What's not to love about that? <laughs> I came into this wanting to know whether my hobby should become my profession, and now I know. Now I know that teaching is what I wanna do. Thank you so much, Nat.